I started from Surah An-Nur, uh, Surah verse number 35. Allah says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Allahu nuru samawati wal ard. Allah is the light of the sky and the earth. Now, Allah is not light. You see this light we turn on, this is light. Scientists know that what's given off from a bulb are photons of light. The smallest packet known to man which moves at a certain speed called the speed of light. This is a physical matter. This has, it's a vector, it has direction, it has quantity, it's finite. Allah certainly is not this light. Allah is not the light which the sun gives off. No. Any light which you and I can describe is not Allah. Allah is using here what we call a metaphor. A metaphor is a description like a, an example. Mathal. Allah says, Allah nur samawati wal ard. Mathalu nurihi, the example of this light, kamishkatin fiha misbah, is like a niche. And in this niche is a lamp. This, by the way, this ayah, verse number 35, has perplexed Mufassirin because it is so deep. The Mufassirin who have gone into this particular verse are so perplexed by its enormous beauty and depth that I'm just touching the surface. I'm not doing tafsir here. I'm just describing it from a surface level, but it is sufficient. Because Allah says, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَ الْقُرْآنَ لِلْذِكْرِ We have made the Qur'an easy to remember. فَهَلْ بِمُدَّكِرِ Who is there to take heed? مَثَلُ نُورِهِ كَمِشْكَاتٍ فِيهَا مِسْبَحْ Listen to the niche. Allah says in this niche, it's like imagine in your living room, something very special in your house, you'll find people who have big homes, they create a little niche. A niche is like a little carving inside a wall. And inside this wall, they'll either put the Qur'an in there, or they'll put something of the most importance that is holy to them in it. It's typical, even the Westerners do it. We do it also. We create a niche. In this niche, Allah says, is a lamp, misbah. Al-misbah fi zujaja. There's a glass on it. Al-zujajatu ka'annaha kawkabun durriyun yukadu min shajaratin mubarakatin zaytunatin la sharqiyatin wa la gharbiyya. This glass glitters like stars. And in it, is a blessed tree, an olive tree, shajaratin is a tree, shajaratin mubarakatin zaytunatin, an olive tree, la sharqiyatin wa la gharbiyya, neither east nor west, meaning it's special. It doesn't come from any ordinary region, it's a chosen tree. La sharqiyatin wa la gharbiyya. Yakadu zaytuha yudi'u wa law lam tamsashu nar. It gives off this light, but fire doesn't touch it. وَلَوْ لَمْ تَمْسَسْهُ نَارٍ Then Allah says, نُورٌ عَلَى نُورٍ Light upon light. Then Allah concludes, يَهْدِ اللَّهُ لِنُورِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ Allah guides whoever He wills to this light. يَهْدِ اللَّهُ لِنُورِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ Allah says, وَيَضْرِبُ اللَّهُ الْأَمْثَالَ لِلنَّاسِ This is an example for you to reflect upon. وَيَضْرِبُ اللَّهُ الْأَمْثَالَ لِلنَّاسِ Allah concludes, He says, وَاللَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمٌ Allah knows everything. Now let us describe this. By the way, if you go to verse number 36 and number 37, we will be hitting this whole issue of wasila today. Let me explain. Who is this Allah talking about? See, Allah says, I chose my blessed tree. Who is this tree? Shajaratin Mubarak. These are the prophets of Allah who Allah has selected for himself. And the imams who come from this blessed tree who Allah has selected for himself. He says, وَلَوْ لَمْ تَمْسَسْهُ نَارْ Fire doesn't touch them. Two reasons. One, two simple examples besides all the rest. One, Iblis is made of fire. Iblis is among the jinn. Jinn is made of smokeless fire. Allah says, وَلَوْ لَمْ تَمْسَسْهُ نَارْ Fire cannot touch them. One reason, Iblis cannot touch them. Second, you find these people can never enter hell. Hell is also fire. وَلَوْ لَمْ تَمْسَسْهُ They are so purified. They are so chosen. Look, 
I am giving just one verse in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is exemplifying a similitude of Allah. Allah says, Allah who? Nuru samawati wal ar. Look how he's explaining. Mathalu nuri meaning that light is this exemplification.